Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, the Miami Heat are trading for point guard Terry Rozier. They are sending Kyle Lowry and a 2027 first round pick to Charlotte. I like this deal for both teams. More than I love this deal for Miami, I like the deal for Charlotte. Um, I knew they were going to make some moves, they were going to get rid of some players at the deadline. And they get a first round pick in this deal, they get Kyle Lowry in this deal as well, which they will get a chance to move him elsewhere to get something else in this trade maybe clear some cap space so I, I like the trade for the hornets not as much as i like it for the heat though adding in terry rozier kyle lowry's been solid for them this season and he has done a decent job at point guard he's averaged 8.2 points per game with four rebounds per game and four assists per game and over one steal per game and it's been averaging 28 minutes per game his field goal percentage has been 42.6 percent has been great but it's been solid they've been the sixth seed Imagine how things will be different for them now that they add in Terry Rozier and replace Kyle Lowry with Rozier. Terry Rozier, who this season uh, is having the best year of his career with 30 games and 30 starts, averaging 35.5 minutes per game, 23.2 points per game, a career high for him, 6.6 .6 assists per game, a career high for him, 4 rebounds per game, uh, also 1.1 steals per game, 0.5 blocks per game, which is another career high. Uh, three point percentage, thirty five point eight percent, um, which is okay. Uh, forty five point nine field goal percentage, which is just a little bit better uh, than Kyle Lowry, but that is a career high right now, as of right now for um for Rogier. He's shooting forty six percent. His career high was forty five percent with Charlotte in two thousand twenty twenty one. I like this deal, uh, for Miami. Rozier is younger and better than Kyle Lowry, and all they have to give up is a first-round pick. They get rid of Lowry's contract, bad, bad contract. Get rid of it. Give, give them a first-round pick, which ultimately could be a really good first-round pick for Charlotte. Who knows what Miami will look like in 2027 if Rozier, Gene Butler, or Bam Adebayo will still be on the team. I, I imagine Bam Adebayo uh, will still be on the team, and I know Eric Spolter will still be on the team as the coach, but... I doubt Jimmy will still be on the team in 2027. Maybe. We'll see. And I don't know if Rozier will be on the team in 2027. But the thing is, is, this team does a great job of drafting and getting the right players on their team and developing players. So if, if they start to lose a couple of players and it looks like they're not the, uh, the, if they're not the, you know, the same team they are, you know, they once were and they've lost a lot of players. You know, their, their uh, front office will do a good job of bouncing back and getting the right players to change their, you know, to, to you know, fix their team if, you know, looking in the future. But uh, I like, it, you know, I like Charlotte getting a first round pick, but mo mostly I love Miami uh, adding in Rozier. Let me know your thoughts on the trade in the comment section. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and peace out.